Do you guys see the jiggling? I kind of just want to throw it. It's been advertised as an edible water bottle. It jiggles. I'm probably going to use this as a water balloon instead of a water bottle. Jiggle. <laughs> it's going to be a fun project. Hi, my name's Ray Pahar and welcome to Get Crafty Crafty. Today, I'm going to show you guys how we're going to make an edible water blob. Uh, you might have seen this online as a edible water bottle, but I figured since this is a craft channel, I'm going to show you guys how I did it. Uh, it, it took me a, actually a good amount of research to get all the right ingredients, do all the right tips and tricks just to get it done. Hopefully you guys won't be as frustrated as I was when I was first making this project, but if you're able to do it, it's actually going to be a really fun project. Let's go ahead and get started with today's project. The items that you'll need for today's project include a hand mixer, some ice cube trays, a slotted spoon, one small bowl, two larger bowls, a whisk, some meal if you plan to flavor up your water. Today, we're using peach tea, some food coloring, four cups of water for your sodium alginate bath, an additional two cups of water for your calcium chloride solution, one teaspoon of food grade sodium alginate. If you're in LA, you can find this at surface. If not, you can find this online. Half a teaspoon of calcium chloride. Again, you want to get food grade quality. I got this also at surface, and you can also find this online. And enough water to fill up one of your large bowls. First, take your large bowl and add four cups of water. Next, you're gonna take one teaspoon of your sodium alginate and mix it into your four cups of water. You want to use your hand blender to mix this really well. Mix this for about two to three minutes until the sodium alginate is completely dissolved into the water. Once you've completely mixed your sodium alginate and your water, it should look a little something like this. A little murky, a little bubbly, and you can see a lot of air bubbles have been trapped in the solution. What you want to do is let this sit for about 15 minutes to maybe an hour, depending on how much air is actually trapped in your, in your bath. You want to let this sit maybe even overnight. Next, you want to take your small bowl and fill it up with two cups of water. Add half a teaspoon of your calcium chloride. And if you want to add flavor to your water bubble, you can add some peach tea Mio. For today's project, I'm also going to add a little bit of food coloring just so that you can see how the process is changing. Make sure to whisk all of that together. If you plan on making big water blobs, I found the best way to actually do this is by freezing your calcium chloride solution. Um, I'm using these circular spheres that I found at Target. I got these for about four for 10 bucks. Um, if you don't have the circular spheres, you can go ahead and just fill up your regular ice cube tray. And once these actually melt and create your um, water blob, it will actually melt into a sphere and not keep its rectangular form. Go ahead and let these freeze for as long as they need to. Before making your water blobs, you want to have your water bath ready. In your last large bowl, go ahead and fill it up with water. Once your ice cubes have frozen, go ahead and take them and just put them in your sodium alginate bath. Make sure they don't touch each other. Once your ice cubes are inside the sodium alginate, take your spoon and gently pour the solution over your ice cubes. You want to make sure that it's completely submerged and you want to make sure that they are not sticking to each other. During this process, if they are forming right next to each other, they're probably going to end up sticking. Once you've seen a clear membrane form around your ice cubes and the ice cubes actually started to melt, take your slotted spoon and gently take 
the bubble out of the solution and put it into the water bath. Mix them around in the water just to clear off anything that you have left on your um, bubble. At this point, feel free to go ahead and pick up one of your bubbles. Once the ice has completely melted in your bubble blob, you can go ahead and pick it up. It's a little slimy, but once you get it, you'll see that the ice cubes have actually formed into a little sphere. Um, I found this project online and it's advertised as a water bottle. Uh, personally for me, I love the idea of, you know, cool new ideas changing the way that we're living our lives in the future. But the practicality of me carrying this around just for a sip of water isn't necessarily there yet. Um, unlike some of the other videos, I'm also going to show you me drinking my water bottle. And you'll notice that it leaves a little film of membrane. Um, thanks for watching Get Crafty Crafty. Come back next time to see what project we're going to do next week. Make sure to check out our last two videos, uh, Painting with Shaving Cream and our Bubble Print Paper. Uh, make sure to follow us on Facebook and Pinterest. And also follow me on Twitter if you have any questions about any of the other projects. Um, this was a really fun, cool project. Uh, yeah, thanks again for watching and come back next time.